So, today I wanted to talk to you about uh, multi-mode filters and a few tricks. So, filters are obviously filters, I'll get to that in a minute, but the important thing I'm going to talk to you about, one of the important things I'm going to talk to you about today is self-oscillation, which basically makes um, pretty much any filter a oscillator. So, I have here today, I have four UVCF units, and I'm going to try and show you some of the hidden potential these units have. Um, so, if we bring this unit into self-oscillation by bringing up the resonance, um, you can see it's now working as an oscillator. You can see this shape it's outputting as a sign. And uh, this, this fourth one is basically just working as a low-pass filter at the moment. So, a sign into a low-pass filter, well, it's not really that interesting. But, what you can do with a UVCF is you can patch it into itself. So now it's... Um, It's self-modulating, and it's uh, it's a saw, and you can see we can we can uh, attenuate this modulation, and what you'll notice is the pitch changes. As it as it goes from saw to sine. Now we can use this to our advantage. And we can say, oh, we'll, we'll tune the sine to, say, C. Ish. And then we'll tune the... Uh, we'll tune the saw down to... say C as well. Just an octave down. So we can we can still play this. So uh, no modulation and now modulation. So what we can do also with filters is we can, we can filter stuff like this. Um, so if we put this in here into an, another filter, and we then take the uh, low pass out, and we put that into the uh, FM input, sine, saw, sine, saw. So, why not modulate this knob now with an LFO? So we can now use this uh, next UVCF, we can use that as an LFO. So we just simply take uh, the low pass out. We know that this will give us a sine wave with uh, full resonance. And we patch that into the FM2 input. It's a bit fast. I mean, maybe we want to go into audio rate. Or if we wanted to go slower, we can simply pass a negative. We can simply pass a negative console voltage in here. So as you can see, this um, it can actually go quite slow. Now, a thing to notice is that often um, these outputs, uh, band pass, high pass, low pass, these will be out of phase with each other. So if we just monitor the uh, high pass frequency, you'll see on the oscilloscope 
that it it sends out the the negative shape. So this is true also when um, it's being used as an LFO. So we can get a few phases out. So pretty much it's it, it could work as three LFOs. And obviously this crazy shape we're working with here could be brought the, way down into the LFO range. So you would have a uh, th three different uh, morphing LFOs. And also, if you inverse the bandpass one, then you have four, which is quite nice. So anyway, oscillator, voltage control uh, uh, frequency filter, LFO, and audio filter. I hope you learned something, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.